My name's Alan Hart and today I wanted to do a review of the Baxi Platinum Boiler. I've been fitting the Baxi Platinum now ever since they first came out. They used to have a sad face on front and they've been an amazing boiler. I'm going to show you, I'll show you inside. It's an end, end of an era now with the Baxi Platinum. I'm sure a lot of people know that in a few months they will be going. Um, it's going to be replaced with a with a new boiler that's coming out. Um, won't mention any names about that at the moment. But um, so we're here today. I installed this boiler. I'll show you what I did of my installation. Um, the customer, um, I installed a full central heating system in this house, and the customer um, wanted to have the radiators uh, behind the radiators plastered, new plaster. So we're back just to install them radiators today. But what I'll do is I'll show you the boiler, show you what we've done, and then we'll have a look inside the boiler, and and yeah, and I'll, and I'll show you what I think, what I think to it. So we've got Luke with us again today. Just got his radiators there. They're going to go upstairs in a few minutes. Um, we've got the boiler there. We'll just have a look at the boiler. So I installed this a few months ago. Um, we've got us. Amiga filter on there. We've got a shock arrester. We've got the condensate pipe in big pipe and it's all the way back into the boiler so that it doesn't freeze. And then we've got the boiler. I'll just show you a bit of pipe work on this. I know that we're coming back here, so I've put some full bar isolation valves on going to the upstairs circuit and I've also put some drain offs on so I can drain that down without having to disturb. The rest of the system so let's have a look inside inside this boiler and see what's good about it it's a little bit tight in this cupboard um, so I'll just try and do it best I can so to take the case off on these just undo two screws you don't need to fully remove them and then cover just slides up and then you cover this bottom flap is still in place if you want to lower that bottom flap then we remove these two screws here but what I'll do is we'll have a look inside the combustion cover first so we'll just take these two screws out and again this just lifts forward lifts up and just lifts off Nice and easy. I've installed a lot, a lot of these boilers and and I can only do a review on the ones that I've installed because not all, all installations are the same. Um, but out of all the ones I've installed, I have very, very few callbacks. Um, they're just super, super reliable. Um, so let's let's have a look inside. If we have a look inside, it's a bit, let's say it's a bit tight is this, but we've got a stainless steel heat exchanger. Very, very reliable. I've never had an issue with one, ever, to be honest. Um, expansion vessel. Expansion vessel on these is a little bit difficult to get to. Schrader valve is there, and that's, you've got to take this out to get to it. So that's a little bit awkward. To take burner out on this, there's a couple of ways you can do it. You can just undo up front off here, um, and you can take, uh, sorry, you can undo these nuts on the bottom here. Undo your four nuts, take your wires off, and that'll all come out. So it's, it's very, very easy to do a service on it. Very easy to work on. And if we have a look below, what I'll do now is I'll just take these two screws out. And then we'll have a look inside there as well. So I've just I've just taken the two screws out, pulled the flap down on this. First thing we can see, it's got a Grunfoss pump, and it's a 1560 Grunfoss pump. So that's an ERP pump. It's got brass brass components, brass in there. I don't normally have any issues with brass. Uh, just going back to the pump, there was um, 
they did have a bad batch of pumps but that's that's Grunfoss um, it's a Grunfoss pump and a lot of boiler manufacturers had that issue with the pumps so but apart from that as I say these boilers have been really reliable this this boiler it has a 10 year parts and labour warranty as well as long as it's serviced the Baxi Platinum comes with a 10 year parts and labour warranty um, as, as I've said before it comes in 24, 28, uh, 33 and 40 kilowatts so it covers most um, this, this actually sounds like a sales video but um, it's getting it's getting withdrawn from market so um, so yeah I'm just uh, giving my honest opinion of it um, as I say I've, in, I've installed hundreds of these boilers to be honest and, and I think they've out of all the boilers I've ever installed these have been these have definitely been the most reliable um, customers tend to get these serviced as well so Baxi send out service reminders and because Baxi send out service reminders I tend to get the service work as well so I'll go back service the boilers um, and if there was any issues then obviously they could be sorted out but as, as I've said before uh, don't, don't have any issues with them at all um, I might have had I don't know I have loads and loads of boilers I might have had to call Baxi out three or four times. Very, very rare on this particular model of Baxi boiler. I have installed other Baxi boilers that haven't been as reliable. Um, so yeah, um, one one thing to say about this system, um, the customer's got um, Hive thermostat on this. So a lot of time I install the Nest because I, I like the Nest thermostat, but the customer's put a Hive thermostat on this so I'll just I'll just show you I'll show you at Hive just so you can have a see what you think to it really it looks okay to be honest we'll have a look at that now for all the people that's got to the end of this Baxi Platinum review um, Baxi are launching a new boiler to replace the Platinum and that's coming out in a few weeks time so check out my channel for for that review as well so that'll be on on i think it's the second of september or the third of september so we'll have a review on that as well um so yeah let's have a look at this um let's have a look at the hive just a really quick look at the hive i don't install these this is the only one i've ever installed to be honest um but the display looks very nice on it um so press some buttons middle button you can put it onto heat, holiday, settings. Obviously, most of the time you're going to use this on the app. So, I'm going to it all in there. I'm not going to mess about with this because obviously, customers got it set. Um, but, target temperature there. So, I don't know if we can. Um, ba -ba -ba -bum. Yeah. So, target temperature's there. So, we can turn the heating on with this if we want. So that says target temperature, I think you click that. Yeah. So now boiler's firing up and that's the actual temperature at the moment. We'll turn that back down because we don't want that on. Yeah, so that's just a quick look at the hive. I don't actually know what I'm doing with hive. I've not installed, um, well, I've just installed this one, that's that's all I've ever installed and that's because the customer wanted it. I normally install the Nest. Um, I hope you found this video of some use. Um, please comment below and yeah, thanks for watching.